just letting you guys know you can listen to my No Bleeps podcast anywhere you stream podcasts or on my No Bleeps YouTube channel. Link in the description. Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill Sesh. We have to talk about David Dobrik's $100,000 puzzle because I was totally unaware up until I went to go look at when the due date or the expiration date of these puzzles was that four days ago they announced the $100,000 winner. Perfectly timed, huh, right? And I have a lot of questions about it and so do a lot of people in the comments because there is definitely a lot of misconceptions and a lot of confusion regarding the winner of this puzzle. And so we're going to break down pretty much all that I know and I really do hope that they can come out and make a statement about how they came up with the winner because it's definitely not the way that a lot of other people thought it was going to go down and a lot of people think that it's a little sketchy. Before I do you know get into it I want to say that I am happy for the winner. I'm not trying to be bitter or salty or anything like that. This went to a teacher. She said she needed supplies for her class. So I am really happy that the money went to someone who was deserving and not one of like David's friends or something like that. But there are a lot of people that feel like this might have been a PR move for David that it went to someone that was like deserving and because just a couple weeks ago there was no winner and for it to be announced while all this David Dobrik stuff was going on a lot of people just felt like it was trying to make David look better and there's a lot of people that feel like some of the dates don't really line up and I definitely want to say that I do think it is possible that someone could have won in the last couple of weeks just because they were announcing that this entire Entire thing was going to be ending on the 31st so there were a lot of people that were going to be scrambling to put their puzzle together and scan it and you know try to win this money so I'm not surprised that it came out so close to the deadline but I mean some of the other things definitely do have me feeling a little sketched out about the winner and how the winner was picked and all this stuff and like honestly it took me like over an hour to kind of piece together how they actually found the winner, filmed the winner, all that stuff. And there's still a lot of questions that I just don't have the answer to, but I'll give you guys all the information that I know. Basically, if you guys have no idea what I'm freaking talking about, back in December, David Dobrik announced that he was going to be coming out with a puzzle of his own. And I did, I'm ashamed to say, and purchase this puzzle for research purposes. And I'm happy that I did because I was kind of able to decode some of the confusion that is going on by having the puzzle myself. But when I tell you guys this is the hardest puzzle I've ever seen in my entire life, it's literally the hardest puzzle. What this puzzle was is a giant QR code. And if you purchase this puzzle, and you put it together, you scan the puzzle, it will take you to this link where you put in a special code that you got when you purchased the puzzle and it will tell you how much money you won. So each puzzle equates to a supposedly different amount of money, but there are multiple of the same puzzles. So multiple people can win the same prize, but there is apparently only one puzzle that will give you $100,000. So I'll read you guys off the prizes because there are multiple ways that you could win and it didn't just have to be $100,000. The prizes range from that down to 25 cents. And on the website, it says there will be one first place prize of $100,000. 50 people will win the second place prize of $1,000. 50 people will win the third place prize of $500. 50 people will win the fourth place prize of $250. 50 people will win the prize of $100 and 450 people will win the sixth place prize of $50. A thousand people will be in seventh place with $10. 1,500 people will get $1. 1,500 people will receive 50 cents and 95,500 will receive the 10th place prize of 25 cents. The way that this pretty much works is that there were multiple puzzles for each dollar amount. All 95,500 people that won 25 cents, they all had the same exact puzzle. If you guys can kind of understand that. Everyone was under the impression that you put this puzzle together and it shows you how much money you won and you're under the impression that you should be recording your reaction because if it says you won $100,000, obviously we know David loves to put videos of, of people winning money and the whole thing would be that 
David would probably like put you in a video or whatnot. That seems to be pretty much the mindset that everyone was under about this puzzle. Now, for some of you guys that aren't aware, there were a lot of people upset about this puzzle coming out saying that David was promoting gambling. This is like the lottery. This is illegal. And the one loophole that gets him away with this entire thing and makes it legal is that there was actually a way to enter this competition, whatever you want to call it, without actually purchasing anything. So you didn't have to buy the puzzle to actually get a QR code and to get a special little code to enter to see how much money you want. You could enter for free if you read the fine print on the website. So they said on the website specifically, there was an alternative entry by mail. To enter without obligation, mail a three by five card to Circo Industries LLC. This is the company that made the puzzle. PO Box 170. 324 Brooklyn, New York 11217 and include your first and last name, email address, supported payment account, username, and $100,000 puzzle on the card. You will receive via email one QR code and one unique one-time verification code. While supplies last, limit one QR code and unique one-time verification code per supported payment account. Each verification code may only be used once in connection with a single supported payment account only. 100,151 codes will be made available. So something that I want you guys to know from that is that this company is in Brooklyn, New York, because this definitely has people raising some red flags. Now, to give you guys a little timeline of the events that have occurred since this entire David Dober puzzle came out was I think I got this in January and I didn't even know that there was going to be an expiration date or like a time stamp on how long you could actually take to do the puzzle. So on March 1st, they started to send emails about the fact that nobody had won the money yet. And they said, hey there, just letting you know you have until March 31st to assemble your puzzle and collect your winnings. Tens of thousands have already won, but the $100,000 prize is still out there. After March 31st, you'll just have to wait for the next puzzle we do. Lastly, I can't wait to see who wins the $100,000. Share your vids with me as you piece your puzzle together. And of course, when you scan your codes to collect your money. Oh, and make sure to tag at 100K puzzle or hashtag 100K puzzle. Good luck, best day. David. That was on March 1st. Then on March 24th, I got another email that said, hi, March 31st is the last day to claim your winnings. That means it's time to finish your 100K puzzle, scan it and win your money. Good luck. So four days ago, I'm recording this on March 29th in case I upload it and it is like the 30th for you guys. They posted the video of these two random guys that are not Jason or David dropping off this massive $100,000 check to this woman. And they said in the video that she thinks she won $500 from this entire thing. Our $100,000 winner thinks that they're just winning $500. Hopefully we'll make someone's day. And this is amazing. It's absolutely amazing that someone that won, you know, needed the money and I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Obviously there are some questions because this wasn't exactly how people thought the winner was going to be presented the check. Like there's a lot of questions that people have, like why wasn't David there? You would think like this is David's thing. David loves recording people's reactions. He loves doing stuff like this. So for David not to be participating in this, people were just like, wait, what the heck is going on? Then they were saying, well, if David wasn't in the news right now, he would definitely have been there to present this check himself. But then people were saying that the check was dated for March 11th. So that was definitely before all this stuff started to go down and people are just kind of like, what's the deal here? And apparently this woman is from New York where the company that makes the puzzle is located. People just feel like the timing is a little interesting. And some people found her TikTok and the date that she posted about putting the puzzle together and saying, let's see what happens was on the 13th and the check was on the 11th. I don't know, you guys, you know, I'm just happy that someone got the money that needed the money, but obviously they definitely need to come out and be a little clear about how they came up with the winner because they said she 
thought that she had won $500. And I feel like we just need like a full video of what happened. I mean, even just for entertainment purposes, I would like to see what they told her, how they got the information, because when you guys scan the QR code, it takes you to this website. You put in your special little code that came with your puzzle and there's like a generator and it shows you how much money you made. And according to her TikTok, she didn't get that. It just said like, you know, put in your information and then someone will be in contact with you. So I'm wondering, did someone call her and say, come outside or, you know, can I have your address? Can we film you? Like that would kind of give it away. But if they just told her she won $500, I wish we could see that because this is obviously leading a lot of people to question the entire process of this entire thing. And especially if they're advertising that they want to do this entire puzzle thing again, they should definitely be a little bit more transparent about how the process of picking the winner went. But some of the comments are, isn't it convenient how someone wins now? Oh, I don't believe it. Now you are trying to look good. This is BS. Why would you give someone a huge $100,000 check on the street? Two, her puzzle won $500, but you bumped it up to 100K. So what happens to the 100K puzzle owner? Three, she was already miked. Y'all wanna add any more red flags to your video or no? And to this, I'll say that I watched the TikTok where she was you know, putting in her little code. It didn't even say that she won $500, like put in your information. It wasn't like the other people, how it popped up for other people. It said that she was gonna be contacted, not anything about like enter your bank information. Cause when you just put in your code and it says, oh, you won 25 cents, they make you put in your bank's information and stuff. It doesn't say anyone will be in contact with you. But obviously the video that they posted on Instagram wasn't super clear as to how she thought she won $500 or how they even picked her or how they got in contact with her because I had to go to her TikTok to find out how she found out that she was going to be contacted in the first place. And if you're just watching this Instagram video, you're gonna be like, what the heck? She thought she won $500 and then what you guys randomly just drew from a hat, someone that won and decided to give them more money. It's definitely super confusing without any context on the Instagram. And other people said, convenient timing to try and shift sentiment. LOL, this is not what was advertised. They just picked someone in LA probably. I thought someone was gonna scan a 100K puzzle. Damn, David Dobrik, this was a fat scam. And I definitely think a lot of people thought that they were recording themselves scanning the puzzle because they had the opportunity to just have their phone flash 100K in their face. And I definitely think that if they were going to do it this way, where they were going to have someone be presented with a check, it, it was probably going to be with David, which makes me think that they did this recently, even though the check date is different. But at the same time, it's like, what was the point if David was going to post about the winner? No one even knows that there is a winner because I really didn't know until I needed to just check if it was going to be the 30th that I needed to put the puzzle together or the 31st. This whole thing is just very confusing and obviously people can't tell if this is like a raffle or what happened. But I think they just had one puzzle that was a QR code that led to a place where you put your name and your phone number and your email and someone would contact you and know that you were the winner. Obviously there are other elements to this that have people a little sketched out like where she lives and the timing and all the dates and stuff. But I definitely wanna know what you guys think about this. Did you guys buy the puzzle for yourself? I definitely am just like, oh my God, this whole thing is giving me a headache because of how confusing it was. And it took me like forever to actually break down and find out what happened. Honestly, if I never saw her TikTok, then I never would have known that she even got a puzzle because she doesn't say anything about how hard the puzzle was to put together in the video. And all they said was she thinks she won $500. So to me, that just sounds like, well, if she put the puzzle together and scanned her code, she would know if she won $500, it would flash before her eyes. But on her TikTok, she is putting together the puzzle. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.